Well, I got my speakers set up. High tech, people. High tech. Let's turn this down. Um, unfortunately, uh, the reception is not great. I don't know. My other radio is actually worse for reception. So I don't know if it's just the area I'm in or what. But anyway. Oops. Still got to connect these wires up properly. That's another job on the list. But uh, I just got uh, these little computer speakers. Got some sandpaper covered in duct tape. It's like foamy sandpaper covered in duct tape for a little leverage on the rear side there. And I just put them upside down um, because on the top there's these little things that... Anyway, it made it was easiest to uh, attach them that way, so that's what I did. Zip ties and all that jazz. And when I want to turn them off, bam, all off. I like that little USB strip working well. Anyway, so this video is going to be uh, a tour of my quote unquote kitchen. I don't know if you can even call it a kitchen, but I guess that's what I'm going to call it for lack of a better name. So here is my kitchen. Actually, I should do this. Pull this out first. That's what it's there for. Now, um, it's not exactly the way I want it yet. It's just kind of, it's pretty much there. There's still, uh, especially in this area right here, I need to, it's not quite dialed in yet. I'm still working on getting it sorted out. For example, this thing needs to find a better place. And uh, my tissue box back here, I was using a tissue box and just putting, uh, napkins in it. I'm going with napkins instead of paper towel because they take less room and every little bit counts. So I might just take the, the napkins and put them directly in this thing under where the blue bottle is. Um, but yeah, so I got my water in this container and the one of the red tape is vinegar. And uh, here's some uh, melatonin. Help me sleep. Some stuff from my eczema on my arm, which I gotta attend to because it's getting worse and worse. Headlamp, water bottle, and then right here, I got this Dr. Bonner's. Is it Bonner's or Bronner's? Let me see. What is this stuff again? I, I never. Bronner's. Anyway, I bought this stuff, and What's happening is I thought, oh crap, this stuff isn't going to foam up because I put it in this bottle and uh, it worked really well before. It's like a foaming bottle. And when I wash up in the morning, I just get uh, like six of the foamy bits, six pumps of foam and uh, wash my head and face like that. However, the Dr. Bronner's was not foaming up. And so then I put the old stuff back in. Uh, which is this, uh, it's like uh, coconut apricot or, no, apricot vanilla. Um, because this is what I used to use. And it wouldn't foam either, so it's the bottle. This is in the back of my, bottom of my backpack for like three weeks. So I think it got banged around and somehow it's not, pump isn't working anymore. So I'm going to have to replace that. Anyways, where am I going to put this now? I'll go back in here. Get in there, you. This goes here for now. Just temporarily, of course. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. And then back here I got my... Uh, some knives. Sharp knife. Serrated knife. Butter knife. Can opener. Fork. Spoon. I'm going to replace all my... Um, forks and spoons while well, I only have one fork and one spoon but um, I'm gonna get on a fork like this so that when I eat on my ceramic um, frying pan or whatever it's not gonna scratch it up 
And then up here, uh, this was, I was keeping food in here, but as you can tell, old Mother Hubbard, your cupboard is bare. <laughs> Need to buy some food. And then this is what I just did today. I put this elastic up here and this will prevent the fruit from rolling out as I'm driving. Um, but it's just polyurethane on here and it's not sanded. So anything that doesn't have a peel, like the oranges or bananas, or whatever, it's going to go in a bag because I don't really want the fruit sitting directly on the polyurethane counter. Um, I might put some, I don't know, even paper or cardboard, something that is a little less toxic than polyurethane. All right, so I don't remember what I showed you guys last time, so I'll just go through uh, this and that. Right now I've got my, um, I'm just putting my microfiber cloths to hang up there, but uh, I can also, at this spot right here, and I actually keep one on the ground. I'm not gonna do this with one hand, but I keep one over here because um, when it's raining, which it does all the time, um, I find it's better best to just wipe it with a with the uh, microfiber cloth and then that way have a nice dry floor so that that works so um, this is how I can get away with not having a sink I have my uh, soy milk container that's empty I put this clip on it just so I can tell which one it is. And then I use this funnel. I stick it in here. And once I'm basic, I basically have my cereal for breakfast first. And then once I'm done with that, then I use the same bowl and I use the spray foam. Um, well, what I do is I boil like less than a half a cup of water in my pot on my stove and I use my microfiber towel and then I swish it around there and it's nice and hot then I um, wash with the, the uh, foaming soap on my head and face and then I use the ringed out uh, microfiber towel and uh, rinse off you might say and then so then I have all that water well it's not really much is it um, and then I just dump it in here and uh, that's basically my gray water tank the smallest gray water tank you've ever seen. So that's why I don't need a sink. Um, I wash my dishes with spray bottles, vinegar and water in the back. That's what I do. And uh, if it's really, really stuck on, I'll just spray it with vinegar and let it sit for 15 minutes. And with the, uh, where's my frying pan up here? I think I'll show you. This is pre pretty dirty, I haven't washed it in a while. With the uh, ceramic uh, coating on here, it cleans up pretty well. As you can see, this thing's taken a bit of a beating and this is exactly why I need to switch to non-metal utensils. So you're probably thinking, oh, wait a second, where's your fridge, dude? Well, I don't have a fridge, I have a cooler. And it's right under here. So, I still have some tweaking to do, and uh, one of the things is, is I need to remove this um, steel handle, and probably this plywood too, so that I can just put a nylon strap here, so that it'll just go right flat, because right now I have to pull it out at an angle, and it's a little bit awkward to open it. And uh, some soy milk was on sale, so I bought two. And um, I don't have my blue block right now. It's in the freezer at my ex-wife's. So I just got some ice in there. So that's where I keep my cold stuff for now. So actually last night I was in here and it was a little bit chilly. It really wasn't cold. It was like 8 Celsius. But I thought, you know, this is probably going to be the last time I use my heater um, for the rest of the summer. So I decided just to use it and then that way I could uh, get the propane out of the lines and everything. But what I forgot was that I left this here. And my heater is right here and this could have melted. But seeing as how it was on low, 
and never melted. And it was hot, but it did not melt, so that's interesting. So another accident that I had was with my butane stove. And as you can tell, now I have um, the knob facing this way. The butane cylinder is up and down like this. So the top is you know, near the, uh, towards the direction of the ceiling. What happened was, um, I'm gonna keep it like this from now on because previously it was like this. And I was hitting some bumps in the road and this valve of the butane container actually opened. Well, I don't know if it opened, but it was leaking strongly. And I'm driving along, and I was like, how come it smells like butane in here? And um, what I realized that happened is, yeah, that uh, valve got depressed and opened and uh, let a bunch of butane out. So that was kind of weird. So from now on, I'm keeping it like this. So I do not have the butane cartridge um, engage. I never drive with it open. In fact, as soon as I'm done using it, I'll automatically disengage it for safety's sake. But uh, yeah, for you guys, I know these stoves are really popular. So if, if you have one of these, make sure you don't drive with it the way I had it with this part facing down because that butane can leak and um, it can be dangerous, especially if you're a smoker or something, or if there's an open flame. Could go boom, boom. So, um, I also put this magnet here. And uh, I'm not sure how that's going to work as I'm driving. But the idea is that the, uh, the magnet will stop it from sliding around. Because previously it was sliding out and falling onto the bed. What else can I show you? Um, I got my water over here. I've shown this before. I'm, gonna, I'm about that level. That's after like two weeks of use. Shows you how often I'm in the van. This holds 12 liters, actually 11.35 liters. So um, I'm gonna have to fill that pretty soon. And then, so as I've shown before, I just lift up my table and this little steel part connects to those magnets, keeps that out of my way. And I have this steel bracket under there. And usually I keep my gray water bottle right here. And it does not move. And uh, some vinegar here, bananas. As you've probably seen another, actually, maybe not. A long time ago, I showed this trick where you put margarine in a container and then you cover it in water and the margarine will stay good without re being refrigerated. So that's a trick I learned off somebody off of YouTube. Whoever told me that, thanks again. I can't remember your name. Like I said, I don't have this quite dialed in yet though exactly the way I want it, but it's getting closer and closer. I'm using these cereal boxes for uh, recycling and garbage. This one's garbage, this one's recycling, and uh, actually, this one's actually garbage. This is what I was going to use to um, connect my door rubber back on. Found it in my toolbox, but it was really old. Marine goop. So it's all dried inside, so nice knowing you. You're done. And I still got this milk crate. I'm gonna have to go through and get rid of it eventually because I'm, I'm gonna want the space free. Anyways, guys, there is my kitchen. No sink, don't need it. Eventually this will go because I'm gonna put this uh, hose right through here. I have the attachment, I just have to do it. Look, a dirty spot, need to wash that off. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Take care. Have a good night.